Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Salsa and Bachata Moves, where I break down Salsa and Bachata Moves. In this video, we're gonna do a nice little footwork. It has some different things that are not quite salsa, but I think you're gonna like them. And I'm gonna go again with the threefold method like we did in the combinations. I'm gonna do only one video, but I'll do it with counting so you can see it. And if you like it, you can go to the second part of the video where I'll teach it. And then at the third part of the video, where I will do it with music and you can do it with me. Okay, so let's go first with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That little last one you like, yeah? Okay, I've got, I'm going to put here also how to do spins. I'm going to analyze it, of course, here as well, but not as much as in this video. So you go check that one out. Now, let's do the lesson. First, we do a basic. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Then we move our hip to the side, bend the knee, so you're in this position. It's like a tango position for the lady. Now, ladies, if you're wearing heels, you can do it on the ball of your foot and switch direction. About 20 minutes. One, two, swivel in on three, pause on four, five, six, two steps on seven, and seven. And make sure you have that point out so we have that nice little detail. Now we have to close the foot and go to the basic or kick to the back and go to the basic. You don't want to go like that. All right, let's do the first one. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, Five, six, and seven. The ladies, when they change, they can go and seven. The guys can keep and seven. All right. Now, half a basic, moving two, half a turn back on three. Now, we're here, try to keep your body this way, go on three. So, you're going one, two, three. So, you can open your arms and close your arms to give you a further one turn. So, we do actually half with the step, half with the hands, and a further 360. That you will need practice and remember, rewind the hands. Open, close. That gives you a nice acceleration. And now the next one, I like to call the multiple Colombianas. One, two, and you swivel. One, two, practice with the other foot. One, two. Now it's going to be hard for ladies so they can go one, two, one, two on the ball of the foot. And use your rotation of your pelvis. And we have one, when we swivel on two, we bring the other one on the heel. So it's one, two, three, it comes back. If you can keep the heel up, that looks more impressive. One, two, three, five, six, seven. All right, so instead of doing one, and then a basic, we're doing left, and then a basic, and then the Colombiana, you go at them continuously two times. And you nail that thing in by bending down a little bit, and swiveling your hip. Ladies, ball of the feet, just fine, ball of the feet, as long as you're moving your hip. We use that one eight, and let's move on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go, one, two, three, just like doing rumba, but we're actually doing it more salsa. And on five, we're gonna step with a bend knee, bring out the right foot, and at the same time, open up the arms. You can have them this way, you can have them straight, I like them here, and do a full, circle. It's not going to be very easy because you have resistance from the wind, literally because of your hands. But it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Close with bent knees. Five, six, seven, eight. Now for you who want to practice the body weight, I have another video here where I break it down completely so you can incorporate it in your style. And then for an ending, I tap here I prepare to the right and my foot is here and I bring the foot right next to the knee. All right, so you practice this, getting that. One, two, three, up. That brings you almost one turn, yeah? So what happens when you close the hands, not too fast, and then jump off to stop. All right, so that was the lesson, guys. Now there's the third part, stay with me. I'm not gonna put it too fast, am I lying? I don't know. We'll see which song I'll find, so we'll do it with music. Let's go!